Fall Guys, but I have no keybinds. So you might be wondering how this is going to work and how I'm even going to end up winning. But basically, how this is going to work is every game that I play, I get to reassign one keybind. So I'm going to try to win with as few keybinds as I possibly can. So every game, I get to get one more until I end up winning. Alright, so this first game I can literally do nothing, like I'm pressing all my buttons right now and nothing is happening, so I literally, do, like all I can do is spin around. <laughs> so I basically just have to wait here until the game ends so I can get my one of my keybinds back. Alright, well everyone has just about qualified, so there's the end of the first round. Obviously I didn't really expect much from that seeing as I had literally no keybinds, so now, once we exit back to the main menu though, we can get one of our keybinds back. Alright, so I think the most important one to get back is moving forward, because I mean that's really the only movement key that we'll need, because if we can move forward we can just turn our mouse to move in any other direction. So I still don't think this is going to go very well because you kind of need to jump in Fall Guys, but we'll at least be able to move now. Alright, here we go. So we can move now. We still can't jump or move to the side or anything, but I think we might actually be able to do this course without being needing to do any of those. Um, it is honestly a bit hard to like get around these things when I can't move sideways. Like The only way I can move is forward, so it does make it a little bit more tricky here. Um, but yeah, like it's just, it's so much harder just not being able to jump or, oh, I'm trying to move sideways there, but I can't. Um, but at least we can move now. Like, I don't just have to sit there and do nothing like I had to do in the last game. Um, right here might be a bit tricky. I'm just gonna have to drop down here right away. And then, I don't really know, I'm just gonna have to like follow these around because I can't jump through the gaps there. Um, because obviously I can't jump yet. So, we actually might qualify, <laughs> like, um, so we got the, uh, there's one more, oh, actually we might not, I don't know if we can make that without, oh, uh, I don't think we can make this without jumping, yeah, we might be done here, <laughs> we're not gonna qualify if we can't make this, yeah, oh, wait, actually, oh, I was gonna say we could grab it and climb up, but we don't have that keybind either, so, alright, well, at least we get another keybind back, and I think you can probably guess what I'm gonna wanna do, I'm gonna want to be able to jump obviously so let's go get our jump keybinds all right here we go now we can jump so i think that this game will go quite a bit better because we can move and we can jump now which i would say that those are two like just the main things that you need to be able to do in fall guys like i could win with this potentially um it would still be kind of difficult i think but it's definitely possible all right here we go we get a bit of a rematch again on this map here we got the same map as last game except for this time i can move forward and i can jump so i'm actually in first place right now um i still can't move sideways or do anything like that but i can press jump now so that's going to be really helpful once we get up to this uh spot up ahead um we're still in first place like imagine like not beating someone who has two keybinds. Um, I guess that we're just gonna fall down here. It doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. Because now we can jump through these, so we can go a bit faster even when we're down here. We still can't move sideways though, which I keep trying to do. But are we still in the front? I think we are. Wow, okay. So we're actually doing. Wait, oh, I think this is a bit of a. This is a slightly different map, I think. Yeah, I think this is slightly different. But we're actually doing pretty decent here. We might actually- are we gonna get first- Oh! Oh no! Wait, did we- Oh, we just barely missed first place. If I didn't get hit right at the end, we would've got first. But there we go. So our first qualifying round. Only the W key and the space key. Alright, here we go. We got another little obstacle course here. So we should be able to do this with only uh, moving forward and jumping. Um, it is a little bit more annoying to walk around like these- little things here because I can't move sideways which apparently I, I, I never really realized how much I move sideways to like go through these th like types of things but like just like right in that area right there where I just kept getting bumped around so much like it just really makes oh okay it just really makes me realize how much I rely on moving sideways so am I going the right way here? I'm assuming I am. This is the way everyone else is going. I've never been down here. I've only played on this map a few times, so I'm still pretty new to it. Um, let's hope that these guys don't- these bulls don't knock me off here. Um, we're getting pretty close to the end here. I think we should be good to qualify. 
Yeah, okay, we got it. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I've never played this game before, but it seems like we need to be able to grab these guys, and I can't grab. I don't have- aw, uh, we got, like, scammed with the game mode here. Like, I literally- there's nothing I can do here to qualify, because I can't grab onto things. So I just have to wait- I've never had this game mode before, like, this is the only game mode that requires you to be able to gr need to grab things in order to qualify. And of course I can't grab, so we just have to wait here and just lose, I guess. Aw, oh, this is so- annoying. Alright, so as you saw in the last round, I think that grabbing is going to be pretty important. So that's going to be our next key bound. So now we can walk forward, we can jump, and we can grab. There's still a lot we can't do, but I'd say that these three are... I think we can definitely win with just these three. Okay, so usually I don't really do too great on this map, so having less keybinds probably isn't going to help too much. Um, but I have... Like I said, I have the most important keybinds, I would say. So let's hope that we can- oh no, oh no, oh no, we're all the way back to the start. I always- like, I should just- okay, what I always do on this map is I go through the center path right there, but what I should do- it's not that. <laughs> I was gonna say, what I should do is go to the side over there, because there's like a little check mark there. Um, but now I can't really do that, I just have to go straight, because I'm way too far behind, and I'm pretty sure that going through the middle here is a bit faster, so, yeah, that's what I always do, is I always just go through the middle here, but I always happen to fall because these things get too rotated from people, like, climbing on them, so then I just always happen to fall off, <laughs> which, oh no, why did that bounce me so far? Okay, well, I guess we'll see if we qualify. I think we should be- I mean, 42 people will qualify. That would be kind of embarrassing, I guess, if we don't qualify on this one, but we qualify on the other one that we were just on. Okay, I just have to jump, because otherwise I'm going to be stuck on that one forever. Alright, we're so close to the end. I think we should make it. Yeah, we're good. We got it, right? Hopefully there's not five, six people to my right. Okay, yeah, we're good. Alright, we just barely qualified there. Alright, so I haven't played this game mode in a while, but my keybind limits should not really affect me at all in this. Well, this is- they changed this. They added, like, conveyor belts here. This was never here before. So I guess that's new, but I think we should be pretty good on this map. Wow, okay, I, I, mean, I don't know if you saw how lucky I got there, but I just got really lucky and we got first place. Okay, let's go. Okay, this one might not be good. So, I've only played this map once, and I've never finished it. So, I just have to be extra, extra careful now that I don't have some key behinds. So, we just have to take it extra slow here, because I can't move sideways, or do I can't dive or do any other things like that so I can't move backwards either oh no these guys are pushing me off getting this like messed up here come on get out of the way people all right we're good we made it through that so these conveyor belts might be a little bit tricky without being able to move sideways like I just have to uh just look so far. Oh no 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 we're fine, okay, we're good. That was a bit scary. oh these uh okay. I was gonna say that might be a bit tough without being able to move sideways either. Okay. I can't get hit Well then. Alright, so honestly I think that the next keybind that I'm going to get is move down. So I bet that a lot of you probably expected me to get the dive keybinds, but honestly I don't really dive too much and I feel like being able to move backwards is going to be a lot more helpful for me. Alright, here we go. So right now we can only move forward, backwards, and we can jump. And we can grab. Right, I almost forgot about that one. Um, so we have four keybinds right now. Um, so we do have quite a bit of functionality, 
but it's still gonna be okay right here it's really good that we can grab because otherwise this would be a bit tough to get up there um but it looks like we're doing pretty good at the moment here um we're in the front of the pack these things are gonna knock me over a few times here but that's fine okay we're through that oh and never mind <laughs> we're not quite through that um there's quite a few people ahead of us now it's a little bit scary Ooh, okay this one so i'm gonna just take it safe because without being able to dive i'm not really sure how good of an idea it would be to go through that little skippy part in the center so i'm just gonna take it safe and go around the outside like this but yeah we'll have no problem qualifying here we'll be like 10th place or something so yeah we did pretty good on that one okay i'm actually not the best at this one so it's definitely going to be a bit more of a challenge without being able to dive especially with all these people landing on my head here it always makes it so annoying i'm so far behind okay we are in dead last right now this is not good all right let's hope that we can make up some time here Alright, um, so we made up a bit of time, and I fell off. Okay, I think we should hopefully be able to qualify here. I'm gonna take the safer route on the side here. Um, oh no, did I- I can't believe I just did that. Okay, I really need to get going here. Please don't push me. Just let me walk, please. <laughs> oh, this guy's bumping me like every time I jump, which is definitely not helping. Okay, we should be good. I'm honestly surprised that I made up that time. Like, I was in dead last there for a bit, but then I came back at the end. Alright, here we go. So this is the game that made me lose in the a few rounds ago. And I had to go and bind my grab button because I didn't have a grab button before this. But now we have a grab button. So we just gotta keep this penguin for a bit. Um... Can I go in the air vent with the penguin? Like, I'm just like, gonna hide in this corner over here. No one's even coming over here. Oh, I take that back. There's definitely people coming over here now. But we almost are gonna qualify already. Like, we need five more seconds here. Are we gonna be the first person to qualify? I think we might be. Wow, okay. We were the first person to qualify. That was actually really easy. So I guess that we made up for the round that we lost earlier because we couldn't grab onto things. Alright, so this game is kind of similar to the last one actually. Um, where we just have to uh, grab onto things basically. Um, except for this time we don't really need to worry about keeping it for a long amount of time. We just have to make sure we have it at the end of the game. Honestly, could I just like hide under here? Because like no one can really see too well under here to be honest. Like if I just like run around like under here, like people just can't even really see me down here. So yeah, we're just gonna keep running in circles down here for now, I guess. Um, oh, this guy definitely sees me. Okay, maybe not, maybe he doesn't anymore. Um, I guess I will stick to this strategy for now. I've never done this before, but it seems to be working at the moment at least. Um, obviously that could change, but for now it's working, so, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna move out a bit. There's 30 seconds left, I can't be playing so risky now, and that's a strategy that I've never done before, so, yeah, we're gonna play it a bit more safe here. Alright, we got... 15 seconds. We have to make sure we have it when the, the timer runs out. So, I'm just gonna run around the edge here. This guy's not gonna catch me because we both run at the same speed. So, we should be good. Alright, let's go. Um, I'm not, I think this next round might be the final round, actually. Alright, here we go. The final round. This is what it all comes down to. Okay, right now, I gotta say it would be really nice to be able to move sideways. 
because then I can move sideways between these things and not have to only go forwards. That's definitely going to make this a lot harder, I have to say. Um, but usually I do pretty decent at this game. So I'm hoping that my luck or skill in this game holds out because this is the final game. I don't think I've ever played this in the finale, but I have played it before. So I haven't ever played it though without being able to move sideways. Like I'm not really too concerned about not being able to dive in this, but just not being able to move sideways is more of a pain in this, if, in my opinion. Is that like I just have to every time I want to switch sides now I have to turn my whole body All right people are starting to die. Uh oh people are starting to die now, so That's good But it also means it's getting a bit trickier for us to stay alive Okay, we got a nice little break there there's still a lot of people left here. Um, honestly, I think that's gonna stay like that for a little bit here. No! Oh no! Oh no! I can't believe that. Ah. Uh, oh well. Like it would have been so nice if I could have used my A or D, but ah, uh, got so close. 